Smart Alec Lights here. Here's my P4 Matrix. They're 64 by 32 panels. There is 12 in all. Um, there's a little Lionson card there. Um, it's connected up via Ethernet, via 1 gig Ethernet. Just to a little tiny personal laptop. Okay, now this is all about the Lionson card. But I couldn't get the Lionson card to work. Um, the version of the software I was using and found where everybody else got it working off the internet was version 12.58. I still could not get that working on the Lionson card. Now, I also installed a color light version outside this year. So. I ended up getting the color light version because I remembered it downloaded some gigabit um, network translation software program along with the rest of its normal software. So I downloaded that and installed it in. Next minute the whole lines and card just came to life. Now that was great. All I had to do then was just run LED Studio and then whatever showed up on this screen would be basically displayed. That's the whole purpose. After you set it up. Now, it's, setting up's quite easy. You just go into here. You go into the little secret menu where you have to type um, Linesen. And it'll pop up password. That is 168. You go OK to that. And it brings you up another screen this section here where it's got your model and where it says net card you have to have that to be able to talk to the actual card via the ethernet via a gigabit bit ethernet that is um, otherwise you just can't configure the thing I don't know why it just doesn't work um, as soon as it shows up that that's why I installed the color light drivers it suddenly allowed the net card to be discovered from this I was able to go into the check hardware it tells me the serial port is not available of course it's not connected by a serial port it's connected by the ethernet and it's found and it's turned some, um, the data on or over there um, at the same time I now go over to the receiver card when you actually get your card um, you need to actually ask your supplier for the .rcg file. Once you get that, you install your RCG file. Um, mine here, I've already installed it in. Um, it tells you exactly what it is. Mine's actually a P4 64 by 32 um, 16 scan. Um, once you do that, you then go over to here where it's uh, send to receiver. It will send the information over to the panels. Um, they will then look like they're working. You then save it on it so it remembers it. You then go up here again and then you go to your display. Now, this is a part that I find the most best part about the line send or the color light um, controllers. FPP you can just treat it as one big gigantic matrix but in here you can break it up over multiple cards so you can have it on multiple matrixes so you could have six matrixes around your house on six different um, cards all daisy chained but FPP will only see it as one gigantic matrix food for thought with that one nice and cheap as well the, car the receiver cards are so as soon as you've done that, you're able to save it, the configuration over to the card. Um, and that's basically it. You just close it off there. Um, you save your setup. And then basically from here, if you wanted to, you can open up a little... Um, there's a... Oh, well, okay, I don't have the demo file in this one. But there is actually a demo file you can get. Um, you can actually play PowerPoint files. Um, simple DVDs just to test out your screen um, from here this is as far as we'll go in uh, FPP 
because that's all you need to know as far as the panel needs to be set up. The rest of it now is in the Raspberry Pi on the run. Oh yeah, the Raspberry Pi Free B Plus is what I've got it set it up as, and I'll be showing that in the next video. Okay, I hope this video um, has helped people. Uh, I know it was a definitely learning curve for me.